After days of hectic lobbying, 185 panchayats in the state elected their sarpanches and their deputies on Monday under the presiding officers. Here's an overview. Most of the newly elected sarpanches have expressed their allegiance to the newly elected MLAs and the newly formed government, keeping in mind development in the villages. In North Goa's Tiswadi Taluka, Yadin Palekar was elected sarpanch of the seven-member Mercedes Village Panchayat, and Priyanka Naik was chosen as his deputy. <laughs> For the elections to the post of the Sarpanch and Deputy Sarpanch of the Kordalam Village Panchayat, Supriya Kerkar, wife of Panch member Goraknath Kerkar, was on Monday elected to the Sarpanch's post, while Gono Zalmi was elected to the post of the Deputy. Out of seven Panchas, four members, including Panch member Purshottam Durapkar and Goraknath Kerkar, voted in favor of the two nominees. In the Karamboli village panchayat, Manisha Valadaris, daughter of Panch member Wilson Valadaris, was elected to the post of Sarpanch, while Kundan Chodankar was elected unopposed as her deputy. As I went campaigning, like I came across many problems and issues like the people were facing. So I would like to uh, sort those things first. In Old Goa, former Old Goa Panchad Sarpanch Nilkant Pedro Bomkar once again made it to the Sarpanch's post while Gita Parvatkar was elected unopposed to the post of the Deputy Sarpanch of Say Old Goa Village Panchayat. The Old Goa Village Panchayat elections assumed significance as Janita Madkaikar, wife of Kumbarjua MLA Pandurang Madkaikar, had also filed her nomination form for the post of Sarpanch but was defeated four votes to five. <laughs> Meanwhile, former Panch member Nolasko Menezes, who once again made his entry into the Santa Stevan village panchayat, was elected unopposed as Sarpanch, and Sabrina Pereira was elected as his deputy in the Santa Stevan village panchayat. Out of seven, six members pledged their support in favor of Nolasco and Sabrina. Elections were held in all 33 panchayats across Bardes Taluka too, wherein many sarpanches and their deputies were elected unanimously. Para Panchayat got a BJP-backed panel, wherein wife of Kalangud Emily Dalaila Lobo was elected as sarpanch, while Josephine de Cruz was elected as the deputy sarpanch. Candida Edwin Josephine and uh, Ningudkar has elected me as Sarpanch for the next five years. While in the National Village Panchayat, which is also backed by the BJP, ex-Zilla Parishad member Freddy Fernandez was elected unopposed and Deputy Sarpanch Deepa Madkaikar was elected as his deputy. And in Majaya, to get a development way, like playgrounds, Magir, children's park, roads, water, etc. and special in the Verla Kanka village panchayat, Mohan Dabale was elected as the Sarpanch and Agasio de Souza was elected as his deputy. In the Aldona village panchayat, Ursula de Souza was elected as Sarpanch while Valapola was elected as her deputy. Most of the panchayats in the Perne Taluka, which is ruled by two BJP MLAs, Panchayat Minister Lakshmikant Parsekar and the Speaker of the Goa Legislative Assembly, Rajendra Adlekar, remained with the BJP. Out of the total 17 panchayats, 15 sarpanches and deputy sarpanches were elected unopposed. BJP-backed panels rule 15 panchayats, while Congress-backed panels rule in Mandre and Morji village panchayats. In the seven-member Pale Perne Panchayat, Sandeep Nanji was elected unopposed as the Sarpanch while Ujwala Tilve was elected as his deputy.